<laughs> I um, am here today to deliver a dividend check from Employers Mutual. Uh, the counties with Employers Mutual are made up of a group that go into that, and then depending upon losses, they can get back dividends. Mm -hmm. And so, um, Nina gets the original check, but here's a copy of the check okay. that they um, gave. And so they're returning $29,000 back to the county. And I went back and calculated it in the last six years, they've given back $86,000. So that's kind of a fun thing to get, unexpected. Yeah. So, and it looks like um, they returned about 1.5 million. Wow. So, you know, it depends upon, you know, the losses that occur, and then depending upon your individual losses. I think in that six years, there was just one year that you did not get a dividend because of the losses that occurred. Um, but other than that, this is the largest amount that you, that's come back. Mm -hmm. So the program in itself is pretty good. So anyway, I thought that it would be fun to deliver that to you yeah, and nice. with help with the budget. <laughs> yeah. Put that in the papers. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 So, but yeah. So that's a that's a pretty fun thing to do out of all the things I I do. <laughs> so anyway, that's all that I had. Unless you guys have any questions for me. No. Okay. All right. Well, enjoy it. All right. <laughs> All right. Great. You won't spend at one spot. You won't? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Well, the, con the fun thing is it's unexpected, and yeah. so it's not in the budget. So, yeah. okay. All Thank right. You. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Great. <laughs> okay. I tried to come. Last week, but I was on an emergency. Yeah, that happens. Thank you. Okay, so we have increased our run volume. It was 12 to 14 to 29. Wow. Um, we've had one heck of a month. Um, a lot of these are actually auto insurances that are hanging out. We've had quite a bit of auto accidents. Um, but they usually pay within you know 30 to 60 days, so they should pay without any problems. Um, we do have some can care hanging out there. Of course, they take longer to pay also than Medicare. Um, but of course, this is within the 30 day time frame. So we built out 23,151.85. And I wanted to show you guys kind of interesting from July. This is just kind of give you an, um, I had a, like an overview of how long it takes to pay. A lot of these accounts have already been paid in full within the 30 days. So, I mean, this is from, I guess it would be, what, not, not quite 60, 30 to 60 days. They all pretty much pay in full. The two Medicare accounts that are hanging out there have already contacted me, and these are actually hospice people that we've transferred, and you have to have a medical necessity form. And so they always contact me and say, hey, I need this. And so I send it in, and then they get paid. So that's kind of the delay on that. And then the rest of it is for, of course, care care and some folk, which 30 to 60 days, or I guess, well, it'll take a little bit longer for them to pay the... Uh, Written, written form accounts. What, what is camp here? Is that the state medicaid? It's like Sunflower Medicaid. It's the same. They pay 20% basically. So. But that's fairly new. Isn't it? I yeah. Mean, it's just like Medicaid. So it's. It's the state. What the state did rather than sign up with the national. So it's just. Work the state. Yeah. Okay. And then we brought in. Eighteen thousand four seventy-seven fifty. That's just in August. For August, huh? So, what's your aging look like? I mean, if you put your current to 30, 60, 60, 90. I haven't done that yet, okay. um, but I plan on doing that in the next couple of weeks. Okay. And come back at the end of the month and give you the aging of okay. all the accounts. So, and actually, I just got a. Uh, a statement from ARSI, the collection agency, so I'll be bringing that back to you guys also to do more collections. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is there anything else? I don't have anything really departmental to say, um, except Tina Krasinski did retire after 20 years of service. I don't remember if I told you guys that yet or not, but she did retire um, on the 15th of last month. So, but everything's operational and all systems go for right now. So. <laughs> that was all good. Employees that you had to bring in working out all right? Or? Good, yeah. Um, he'll be here. I've got one coming in Friday. Um, and I actually just had the one from 
great men, and then Georgia Coleman's here from one of ours. So I did have an interest. Um, there was one paramedic out of Pratt that works part time for Eagle Med that said he was looking to quit in November. And he asked me about coming down. I said, we'll come around, look at our operations, see what you think first. So I didn't want to come run into you guys yet. But there is a possibility of a paramedic one to come on board. Um, and like I said, he runs out of crap. He's been there for many years. So um, I didn't know. We had that stipend I talked about. There was a 200 for the A EMT. And then for the paramedic, we had talked about the 240. But I wanted to make sure that was going to be so kosher with you guys to bring him on board for that stipend. But if there is an interest, then for sure, definite, I will come back to you guys before I make any decisions. What about the new people that you trained in this your last class? I've got two that are getting ready to go and test um, on the written exam. They're still dragging their feet, and yeah. I don't know, you know, I like don't know how to keep them the fire under yeah. them and keep going and keep pushing. But there was out of the six, three of them passed the practicals and three of them didn't. Um, the other three, I told them they had a practical station coming up in September. They lost the fire. We're trying to. It's just so yeah. hard to keep them motivated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, they'll be paying their money back to the state. The way I look at it, if they yeah. don't, they don't want to fulfill the obligation. But unfortunately, you can't force people to do it. So, right. yeah. so we're looking at three prospects, you yeah. know, possibly, or if we could ignite the other ones, you know. But mm -hmm. I didn't know what percentage would actually finish. Yeah. You know, test out the first couple of classes did really well, and it's just these last two. I don't know that the high school. The last one had a lot of high school students yeah. in it, and that pretty much was the downfall there. So we kind of steered away from high school students and went to the other side. But um, I also want to tell you guys that there is an A EMT class that's going on in Barton. I want to call them and find out a little bit more. But I don't know how you guys would feel about opening up to our techs, our EMTs currently on our service, and seeing if they would want to go on to A and possibly funding it, but that's something I'd like to get Dr. Farmer involved too, because there's not everybody I know he would like to sit, so. <laughs> but um, it was just not a possibility. I want to let you guys know too that we could even send ours on here that are in Stafford County already uh, versus bringing people in too. So we have options. It's just yeah. looking at what we got. Okay. Now we're recessed. You said you guys wanted to have a couple questions about the technology. Possibly. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess I wasn't under, wasn't clear from the first time we had that guy. We had the guy here mm -hmm. gave the presentation about that. As far as I thought, every, anybody could use it, you know, not just have one person designated to to use it or make it that layers, so to speak. Okay, you actually was was correct on how you interpreted it when you said that, because uh, in the meantime I've been talking back with John and so forth, and um, everybody can use it because it's a website based, and what he said we can do is um, we can give the cities like a co-administrator to where they can make their layers. Mm -hmm. They can't send them then to server. What they have to do is they have to put them on a shape file, send them to Maryland, and then Maryland will send them to the server. You're right. You, you actually interpreted that correct. That's correct. Okay. Uh, they, they recommend only one administrator that they can have a couple co if if they if they want to do that. Well, I mean the reason why I, I mean I thought about that was but one point was why would the cities be appealed? You know, why would they, why would they want to be part of that if they can't use it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 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 once that's that's downloaded, then 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 once again they can because it is password protected. protected like the city of Stafford could say, well, they have the city clerk, the police chief, right. and so forth. They have a password. Nobody else will, and so forth and so on. And so those people could could mm -hmm. immediately see it. And yeah. change it, they can they can see it. But the co-administrator can. That's why they only want one person to be the administrator. They don't want nobody to have the password to change it until it goes through the administrator to them. Otherwise, you could have you know, oh change, people in there changing stuff, yeah, all, accidentally and all kinds of stuff. So so you actually are correct. 
Which actually, you know, will the cities do it? We don't know. They might. They might want to. Um, probably depends on their workload and so forth too. But um, I think once we, if we do this, still, once we get to that point where we have our agreement with pictometry, and then we'll have another little uh, agreement with the cities. Then we can, you know, if we put in, you know, I think we should put in, of course, their cost, and then uh, part of the maintenance that we're going to pay every year, and then maybe put in uh, one layer a year that the county may help may help with, and that would be then their fee to the to the county. Because really, as long as we have this agreement, the cities will have the same and have an agreement with you guys. And uh, one thing that we talked, I talked to John yesterday, is when and if we start signing, if we get to that agreement, um, who who, do the, who wants to sign the agreement? And what it means by that is, since it's a county, it can be you guys as the signees. It can be Nita. It can be me. They just we, he just wants us to if we're going to go that route. Who, who wants? Because everybody does it differently. Right. Right? Yeah. Whoever, like some counties in 911, they sign it. Does it make any difference? No, huh. no. It's just something to to kind of think about, maybe in the, in the back. So everything's moving along pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna meet with one more small city, Ellsworth County. And then, like I told John, we need to do it, narrow the narrow the price down, and then we need to narrow the sectors down on who's going with nine inch and three inch. I really think right now everybody. We haven't heard from St. John, but I think uh, it, we're gonna it, the whole thing will be nine inch. Uh, the only two cities that are showing interest in the three inch is Ellsworth and Arnett. So you got County involved? They're they're back on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't want to hang out there by themselves and, and 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 get three years from now get the three get tri get the triple prize. You know. Um, I think. Um, uh, Lincoln County, because of the wind farms, what they're thinking about doing, and, and, and I, John said this was, they may they may want to do their south half of the county, the south half of the county, because that's where the wind farms are, and then they can do the rest. Yeah. Um, I did want to show you this is a this is a pretty national uh, magazine, fair and equitable, and. What's kind of neat about this, is I didn't make any copies, but you guys can see. As soon as I seen that photo, I thought that has to be something yeah. to do with pictometry and the articles about them. But if you look over to the side here, it says pretty much yeah. Mm -hmm. pictometry. And that's for the city of Los Angeles. So the, the big entities, and he said they've been, they flew, this will be their third time. And that's three inch? Yeah. Yeah. And then they can zoom in. So I just thought that was yeah. interesting. Can get very low flying there. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think it's still good. I think it's. Well, I guess what what I'm unclear of is is how how we're going to administer it and and who's going to police it and how are you going to charge for it. That's actually what we're going to start working on. I told John that's West, where we're at the point now of, of I need some of this finalized now. Because if the cities aren't going to fly three inch, then they don't really need to be involved financially. We're just built by the job or by the hour. Or they can pay. What are they paying for, though? To help pay for that photography, at least for their sectors, which would help. We're going to use it anyway, but would help to you know take that relief off of the county in a way for the three-year period. Yeah, but I'd almost rather not even have them involved. Okay. I mean, I think it would complicate things. Okay. I do. That's my. How opinion. much time does it kind of take for Maryland to do that, though? Well, if she did it all. She well, have to do it all anyways. I mean, well, that's not really. It's not like she could just send it in. Then, or, well, it, it really depends. Uh, on, on, on how aggressive the, the entities want to be. If they feel like, you know, say they have somebody go out and 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 do their manholes, then if they have some experience, they can maybe make the layer. I say maybe, and 
and then they could send sh do a shape file and then send it over. Uh, it depends. It depends on the city and who they have doing it, really. You know, one thing that I thought, you know, if I if I was if I was in the city situation, uh, we know that we probably want to fly in March. Uh, I think right off the bat, as soon as the snows quit, hopefully, uh, I would go out and put a white X on every manhole. Because on the photography, you can see it. it. <laughs> I mean, you could do stuff like that that wouldn't take a city very long, and but it would save them time when it, when it comes to the, the projects. You know, some of the things they want to do, they could go out and mark prior. And do you, you think Mar you think Maryland has plenty of time to do this? I'm not going to say maybe plenty of time. Certain times of the year. Uh, I would recommend that we don't try to go put on layers in January, February, and March, you know, down the road. Um, preferably after we, after we get ready to certify and we know our values, you know, June, July, August, September, October isn't bad for her. You know, there is I mean, what I don't want to get into is we, we spend the money to buy this, and all of a sudden, well, hey man, you come back in and say, hey, we're overloaded in our office, we need another employee. Sure. I mean, That's good. And, and I've thought about with Ponding County, you know, I, I heard Scuttle that that might be their angle, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, I would entertain the idea of sharing, possibly sharing, sharing a contract employee with them, you know. So sure. we're not sitting there with, with a high dollar amount of technology that we can't use because we don't have an employee to use it. Or and another department. And, and another department, yeah. You know, I think with, you know, with, with, with Paul and Ian, I didn't have the answer at that time about, because they, they wanted to know the turnaround of doing a layer. But there, I think they're going to be interested. They may be one that has somebody in the office start working on their own layers. And then they would, in turn, when they get done or need help, then they will give us the shape file and we'll send it off. So, and I think they'll be, they'll be better with that. Uh, they were talking about using uh, what they have right now, as I've seen a little bit of it, an advanced Google system type thing. Uh, but once again, you can't, you can't do a lot with it. Um, yeah. And, 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 and the, the property lines are, are probably the most, the most important. I mean, if you don't have a property line, Kind of, you're just going to have to see if they get aerial photography. And we don't know if that's hard. So I think we're getting closer, and I think uh, uh, when I find out from Hollywood next week, then, and I already talked to John, probably a week from yesterday, we'll start, they'll start working on our sectors. Martin County? Uh, no. Uh, <coughs> they was over in Ellis today, or yesterday, and I think. And I didn't realize this, but Barton and Ellis touch. Did no, you know that? I didn't know that. Barton and Ellis County, there's like a small area. Yeah. Is this like a like four corners, a huh? <laughs> yeah. Or three corners. So, <laughs> because Ellis is sitting out there and they said, well, they want in on that extra 5% then if, if Barton's going. Oh, so Ellis did too? Ellis isn't interested <laughs> now. Yeah. But Barton won't get, get off that center. <laughs> No. And nothing from Rice, I guess. I haven't heard anything. No. And that would be the if they would. Yeah. Did they make a presentation they went to, in Rice? Yes, they did. Really? Um, and he was over in uh, McPherson. They're kind of where we're going to be close to being. They're looking at how the contract will be drawn up there. Uh, so John would have to come back at that point, probably get to a commissioner's meeting with you guys, uh, show you maybe what they're their normal contract is and they give you guys time to go through it, read things out, put things in, and then so so about, that's where I think we're getting. How about the other counties Pratt or have you I haven't heard anything about Pratt. Pratt. The commissioner from Barber County yeah. he was really he was interested. Very, I mean he was like yeah if you get wanted Pratt that. in there that you did yeah. three there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So because he was really really interested in that. So it's, it's moving along. I, I asked him. I asked John yesterday if, if, if we were moving along slow, and he actually said, "No, we're not," because sometimes you know I'm, I'm ready, you know, 
awesome, but it takes a while if you're getting a lot of people involved. Yeah, I guess that's my hang-ups, so is just, you know, the involvements of the cities and mm -hmm. how you're going to implement it and how you're going to charge for it. And, you know, if they're not going to do three-inch, I'd rather not, I mean, that's my personal opinion, I'd rather probably not be involved. You know, just if they want layers made, we just build them by the, you know, by the layer that they want made. Okay. I mean, it's still useful to them. I just oh, don't know how much more time that would take. Yeah. Sure. I just, and, and the other side of that, too, is like Kurt said, I mean, the, the time and the, the people is what I don't, you know. And, you, and, and so if you would let them get involved and, and, and pay part of that back to the county, then they could maybe make the layer. Well, they can, they can not have any expense and still be involved and make their own layers and we still charge them for it. That's true. I just don't want them to have be financially obligated to, to pay in part of this price. Mm -hmm. And then we, you know, at the end we say, oh, well, you're only going to get one layer out of $7,000 or whatever the cost was. I don't remember mm -hmm. off the top of my head. But, you know, then all of a sudden we say, well, that's all you're going to get for $7,000. You know, and we can have it available to them and you know, still charge them by the time they spend using that to create their layers or, you know, how many ever layers they might need, you know. And then for Maryland's time to implement those those layers. I, see that. I, I think with the least amount of people involved, I mean, you see what I'm saying? Sure. And, and, and if a city has financial buy it in there, they're going to say, hey man, this is what we paid for, this ain't what we're getting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's Stafford for sure. We did get a letter, we actually got a letter from them. Okay. And, and Maxville, I think, we going to work on a letter also. I think they're both very interesting. I, I just I just was thinking okay. if they were going to go to the three inch route, mm -hmm. that they could pay that extra fee to have, for, to have that service. They're definitely not interested in three inch, so. No, mm -hmm. no. I think they agree that that's Big over yeah. yeah. So, because I mean, our county cost is going to stay the same, like, mm -hmm. like it, mm -hmm. whether the city pays for it. No matter what happens. Yeah. Right. But then that's 100% correct. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're already paying for it. For yeah. the, the whole county to be full of nine inch. That make it simpler, I think. With them to be nine inch. And well, I was, I think so too, but without the city's paying for, for their part of that mm -hmm. because we're already paying for it. Mm -hmm. Well, I think what I'll do then Tuesday next week when I talk to John is uh, kind of tell him what we need updated and so forth and then maybe look at a couple weeks down the road and get him on the agenda and then he can come in with a contract. That would be good. And that way he can answer everything. Yeah, I'd like to talk to him more time. Too, sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Not sign up, but just start yeah. working on that part. And maybe Probably we can more about it by then. And maybe we can get all three counties kind of at least if he comes up, he can maybe stay a couple of days in Kansas Center. Because that's what they're doing. They're in Kansas all week this week. So it's going back and forth. They're in Abilene today. <clears throat> what they're doing in Abilene, which is nice to hear, is they got three big time tree people going there for training. Because they you know, they was what they the four counties that way. And so they're in there doing some more training. So, I do know they do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that they say. Would you send anybody else for training except uh, what, what I would like to do is I would like to actually have them come here and then go and they'll, you know, not just do a multi, but, but bring people in that like the cities when he comes here and do a training. I think it'd be better to get and you don't want to try to put it all on one person. Yeah, and then that way they could see, you know, if the city of uh, Maxville comes over, they could actually put a face to who they're going to call and talk to possibly or something. Okay. I did meet the other guy, Christian, um, and he just he lives. <laughs> so, so, but it helps to know who they can talk to. So, yeah, I think he, he thought we were doing okay. okay. Cool. So I'll, I'll break the news over to uh, to the city of Warren and let them know that they can do theirs, and 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 then that that will probably relieve them for the good time. So you're right. 
Everything else okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'll keep you up all the time. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate yep. you coming. Yep. More recess. Yeah, I have a schedule. Well, we'll do the easy part first. I have a step raise for Janice and Esther. She's completed the mandatory time. I couldn't find a joint without her. It's really um, good about finding ways to help. Second to raise uh, yeah, semester from 1467 per hour to 1504 per hour. Range four, step seven. The range four, step eight. All in favor say aye. 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 And then and she's going back to treatment. She has that time and she had Last time we had any employees that wanted to donate to the cycle. I have the max. Yeah, that's I fine by hopefully me. Hopefully never have PG has some he wouldn't give it to. Yeah. A lot of employees came sure, and said sure. they would like to. Yeah. All right. And we allow it next. Okay. Yeah. So thank you, Mr. Silver. Bad bad. Same thing coming back. Deborah Meisenheimer, she's our area rep for 
across, and she's the one that says, you shouldn't be responsible, and the patient's not responsible, and the lab should just, uh, well, Felicia has a different view. She's very nice, I mean, and I was nice to her. <laughs> but I just told her, I said, Felicia, I have no intention to do that. And I don't. So I need to know what to do with that. <coughs> Let's have to write the letter. You can have a, a this is the girl, uh, first girl I talked to, and this is her supervisor. Oh, I thought maybe you'd be down here today, but yeah. when I see you, but it's this one here. I'll have to come talk, or I will call you and you come back. Okay, all right, but this is the one right here, okay. and um, like I said, it went away for a couple months. I guess they tried to rebuild it to Blue Cross. That's kind of an exotic test or something. But if they want me to do an ABN, and I don't even have a form for ABNs other than Medicare people. So how am I gonna how would I do that? You probably want to make a note on that that Blue Cross is only gonna pay thirty dollars a That's what she told me. That would and why why they have a map if they're not gonna cover it, I don't know. Yeah. Why would they have a why would it be in their price list if they don't cover it? I certainly would pay them more than thirty dollars. I'd be I'd happy say, to do that yeah. just to get it off the list. Yeah, that's all Blue Cross, you don't think? Yeah, that's what she told me. So. You could even get Blue Cross to send you a note to that effect. I could call them for a hundred. That's what I do. Why don't you get that and we'll have Joe write a letter? Yeah. And yeah. Let's make a voucher for thirty bucks. We can pay next week and we can just take care of it. All right. Works for me. Have for sale a 1974 C6000 freight truck. Uh, Sorry, it's not a 45,000. It says it's about 45,000 on the odometer, but he's thinking it's a it's a well, this is a brand new lead director just started this year. He's getting rid of. He said it's probably 145,000. He said he knew it was bought new by the county and used as their tow truck. It's got a 1600 gallon poly tank on it. A Raven. Chemical injection uh, with a 700 controller on it on the pump that works. Went up and looked at it. Uh, runs well. The only thing it needs on it is two, the front tires are really uh, weather bad, and uh, I actually don't want. To, if I could get it, I wouldn't want to drive it home with them. And so I uh, priced them those up in Boyd, and they were 365.60 a piece. Put them on. So for a total of they want twenty two hundred for the truck and then seven hundred and thirty one twenty for the tire. Um, what would I use this truck for? This would be for my uh, like my chemical load. Oh uh, I think. Mean. Uh, with sixteen hundred gallons if I put it on, I can go well with my current I go six miles without a load. This would let me go like thirty without a load. <coughs> and like I say it wouldn't be something that would be used every day, but I do I mean like I say it for it sounded yeah. Good, run good, and so for that price, I, I think it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, that would <laughs> help me a lot, make me a lot more efficient in the spring and get my chemical load down a lot more timely. That, that money would come from what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good point. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Six stars would be worth the price of the truck. Yes. But yeah, and I mean, say for 2200 and, and that's it, it's be something instead of, a, hopefully instead of, you know, an eight-week chemical mow, it would be just a couple-week chemical yeah. mow. Yeah. Yeah. My efficiency and the time is better. So how big is the tank you're using now? 300. So, I would really allow Ryan to purchase the 1974 two-ton GMC 6600 truck for $2,200 plus the tires at 735 two tires. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second to purchase the 1974 two-ton GMC 6600 truck all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. All right. Thank you. <laughs> if, if you thought you dared drive it home, I think you might get the tires cheaper. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I could. You don't think you dared drive it It just, they're just so weather checked. Yeah. And just, no. but it's even, even he, well, that's even he <gasps> said that too. He, that's his, 
one concern with it. Because the back tires look good, yeah. but just those front ones are so on the end. Yeah, I have an idea. I'm sure I could cheaper. And I would, yeah, I'd prefer to, but I just put new tires on for about two fish. So, but yeah. So, yeah, so hopefully, this is help me out a lot and well. And if I get a hitch put on it, I can, if I take my 1,000 gallon nurse bag with me, then we're looking more like 50 miles. I, I think it's worth a try to see if we can get a better looking product. How do you do it? Now? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, no, they've got a guy you know, we put on it. And it's, but the guys. What's a guy off the edge of the road? No, we, we go out and mark the centers. Okay. Try to find the center as close as we can. We'll mark it about every 200 feet. So you get about 26 marks. That's. Should be about 150 feet, and then you can usually pick up most of it. You know, so well as I do, you're trying to drive yeah. there, something else. But the guys don't sit tall enough in the seats, a couple of the guys that are drivers, <laughs> that they, they can't, I mean, the, the rod that goes out there on Friday is, is, is not mine. Who drives Um, No, Pete, <laughs> Pete drives some, and then Jody, Brister, okay. the guys that lay the mat. They're, Bill, Bill can drive it, he Bill drives for a straight there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I can't imagine. <laughs> 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 so, might not be real fast. <laughs> oh, is, so this is what you want to try then? Yeah, I think it's but I think you know, like I said, we can yeah. have more applications for it too. So is that actually kind of where you're just telling you whether you're online? It just tells you it just yeah. shoots a spot down the road. At least you can adjust it, you know, where it would be further out down the road. Or, you know, just, I don't, yeah, it's the light bar. Yeah, she was a good person. Well, 
But I, I would, I would have thought that the easy miners option would have been a little cheaper. But she told me, she said, are you sitting down? And I said, well, why? <laughs> she said, this is $4,100. I said, my goodness, they're not going to sell many of them, are they? She says, well, yeah, probably not. So you motion to do this sort of thing? I make a motion to allow Philip to buy the uh, GL 3000 guidance laser for $2,995. Second. We have a motion second to allow Philip to purchase the GL 3000 series guidance laser on paper. Say aye. 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 Motion here. $29.95. Yeah, with no decimal. <laughs> Keeps on the going. So, so, so hopefully we'll get this bridge built here this this winter. Wow. Oh, you got to catch all those minnows. You got to publish that online so people can just see how stupid some of their requirements are. Well, and there's seven seven different departments because it goes to the Corps of Engineers, Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks. Is for a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Yeah. 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 It's not good. I'm doing the bridge. I'm worried about the windows later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this is the only one that I was, I was worried about because of that. Do you, do you care if I said that to somebody <laughs> else? No, that's fine. You know, we talked about a truck earlier. We're either going to have to put some money in this truck that we got over there. I mean, I'm, I just want some guidance from you guys on on one because I mean we're going to have the transmission is getting it, it's time to do some maintenance. The maintenance on it. Which truck? Oh, the one that I uh, was uh, that Ford. Trying to get some feeling from you guys. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I guess I don't know how bad it is. Well, I mean, I suppose, well, the transmission, you can get, you, you know, as well. Yeah, you can get six thousand, you can get five, six thousand dollars in a hurry. And I just hate to put that kind of money right. into something if we're going to get rid of it. No, I mean, who would do your work? Oh, usually we. Well, I mean, usually when the transmission guy goes into the Southwest truck, then they usually give us an exchange and yeah. go through that one. And, uh, sometimes they'll get into it and look at it and see if they can do it cheaper. But the more exchanges just depend on what they find. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the other work, I mean, Bill, I mean, we'll pull it out and so, stuff. Like, we would do the, the labor part of it. I mean, it wouldn't have to go to that right. shop. Okay. I mean, at the same time, I mean, we, I mean, same time we got the loader to consider right. too. I mean, so I, I'm, I'm just trying to get some guidance from you guys on which way to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, welcome, well, well, welcome to my job. <laughs> <laughs> Transmission stuff. So. I mean, the biggest thing about our trucks in Texas is being able to pass them. I mean, there's so much vibration that comes through those trucks, it's just it's so hard on them. And you know, the way we've been doing it, when we've been rebuilding them, you know, it's, it, it's a 10 year cycle or 10 or 12, you know, to stretch it out on that. But, like I said, I mean, I've talked to some of the other counties that have bought new trucks and Art County, but I don't know what's hard, but 
Reno County's lost some of them. They're, they're figuring 20 to 25 years old, you know, somewhere in, in that span, but before they replace them. So, I mean, that'd be the only good thing. The initial yeah. cost is the big bite. What is the, 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 the big bite? Cost? Well, if we don't go with the spreader, we'd probably stay in around 115. I mean, if we, just, we get away from the spreader and snow pile. If we put the spreader and snow pile in there, it's going to be 155, somewhere in there. I can't feature that right now. I just don't know these new trucks if they're if you're getting better quality or not. Well, that's I mean, why. That's, that's, that's why, why I wanted, up with that. That's my without. That's why I wanted to know, go with the Western I, Star because I think the Western Star is a better truck than the yeah. freight line. I mean, it's a little bit better. I mean, if you're going to end up with a piece of junk in five years, oh, or if it even, don't say that. If it'll even make it that, I mean, who knows? Well, I mean, but you put me, yeah. all the electronics and stuff on them trucks, who knows how long it No, well, long. I agree. I mean, that's why I was in the middle last time. was just, mm -hmm. I mean, this is crazy for what those cost. And, you know, it just, yeah, I, I just have a hard time spending that kind of money on something, you know. You still have problems with them, you know, like the new trucks, the newer trucks you have now. I mean, you still have it, have had issues with them. Yeah, we've had some. I mean, we haven't had a whole lot, right. we, but it's usually when it becomes an electronic issue, right? It's, yeah. it's not something you're going to fix. We're going to fix, yeah. So. But I mean, it's the same way with the front. I mean, right, our pickups, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, yeah. it is everything because there's no way in God's green earth you can send somebody to school and have all, uh, all the software yeah. and all the all tools that you need to take care of stuff. But I mean, as long as we do our own way, as long as we do keep our maintenance right. and stuff. Yeah. And, I mean, we've had graders that, that have, uh, you know, have had electronics, and they're getting, getting up there now for 12, 14 years. Was, once in a while we'll have an issue, but I mean, right. most of them are no, Nothing may, I mean. Yeah. Not going to Yeah. How old is your quote from before? Mm, yeah. No, it was a spring. Oh, yeah. It was a spring. Well, we could look at it again. See how it compared to when all three of us are here. Okay. Well, well, about, I mean, what about some of the old state trucks? Are they worth? Well, the state's running them about 12 years. Oh, what, yeah. and, and, and most of the stuff that, that they've got right now is not uh, big enough. Yeah. When some of these come go in there, you know, some of the ones they're buying on the Freightliner side now, they, they, they'd probably be worth it to uh -huh. look at. But where they're, right now they're running some old Sterlings and stuff out. But these trucks that they're finally getting now are trucks. I mean, yeah. For a long time they used the DT-466 yeah. and stuff. I mean, we, we all went through that where it wasn't yeah. with a big enough truck. Yeah, that's the issue of my equipment in time and forth. It's a problem. Yeah. I mean, you, you deal with it enough. Yeah. Some of the stuff we do with ours is people don't think we're hard on it. Uh, we are. We are hard. I mean, like I said, clowns and all of our trucks is, in the way we use them, call them. The short haul on a truck is terrible. Yeah. That's why, I mean, I told somebody we had 25,000 miles on the tires. I said, oh, on a dump truck, it just turns, it turns all the time. It just it eats tires. Knock on wood, we went to uh, try to cut the cost down a little bit because tires have gotten so expensive. Yeah. We went to recap. We've had good luck yeah. about so far. We've run for about a year now. So I mean, that's good. Yeah. Because tires just they don't the price here. Just a couple of years ago, it's just trying to balance that cost. Yeah, I was hoping the truck would make it all sober and it pretty much has, but it's like I said, if you're going to have to do something with it. Yeah. More. Have you thought any more about moving to less trucks and more, more in dumps? Yeah, well, did it, you it try wouldn't it? help us for sealing. Did you try using the end dumps on sealing? No, there's no way that they can follow those protocols. Well, because you, all right, you got to have a hitch. Uh -huh. 
and it's got to come back in there. And then, and then the, t the height of them, putting that, and then a lot of the times we'll get on crown of the road, and we're traveling 600 feet a minute on the seal. And then you, get, you know how that dump is. I would, I'd be a little wary on that. I talk, I'll, I'll, I'll check around and see if somebody has done that. I don't. I didn't know if they had or not. I, I don't I know. I've never I just think it's money saying. better spent to get away from. I know put you in mind for plowing snow, but mm -hmm. I mean it just makes more efficient time I think. You know, when you can buy an end dump for thirty or forty thousand opposed to hundred and fifty thousand for a truck you're gonna replace in ten years. Well if you're gonna spend that much it'd be twenty, but if you right. say, say, same same thing. thing. You're, you're yeah. eventually gonna replace it. Right. Yeah. But I mean you're gonna it, you know, you'd be I think it you'd be more efficient with your time. <coughs> You know, for what you're just bobtailing around sand and and, and well, paper. for our long hauls, I mean, yeah. Uh, right? The yeah, end dumps are great. Yeah, but I now, didn't even utilize them um, for. And we and we haul some sand in the spur from from the other right. place, but as far as hauling asphalt, trying to dump into our deal, uh, I'd be a little leery. I'm just leery of because I've seen so many of them. Oh, they flip over. Yeah, flip over and 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 asphalt trying to dump it out of the trailer right. is. It doesn't like to slide, and so I, you put that weight up there, and you put the crown on the road. And I, I think if we we could <laughs> we could have a real problem yeah. in a hurry. But I mean, I just I don't know. I just look at all the trucks from you know moving stuff. You know, mm -hmm. They're busy, and it's just man, if you, you know, even if you can slim those back to to incorporate. You know, some short, short, <coughs> shorter end dumps. I mean, you can put something together cheaper than what you're doing that one truck for. You mm -hmm. can almost have two units and haul more material than what you're. Well, as far as the hauling part, part, yeah. But I mean, the only part then is. I mean, if a guy can get it figured out how you can use it, it you seal. lose it. Is right. you lose it on on the winter side. Right. So, and you know how people are. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, what I'm saying is you can keep this old truck, we put a oh, transmission well, okay. in it, and okay. not use it every day. Okay. You know, park it to plow snow. I mean, okay. You, you, okay, know, no, okay. you, you know, that, that's what I'm saying. Because I, I, know, I know we can put a trans, you know, who knows what else is wrong with the thing, but I mean, if you can get that truck fixed up and use it just to plow snow, or mm -hmm. when you do get really busy sealing, you know, and not use it every day. Well, I'll talk, I'll talk to some. I mean that that's shape. kind of my thought process, but okay. well, you know, I mean, if a guy can use some of it, even if we have to pile more sand at more frequent spots when you're sealing, you know, maybe that's a, an idea. I, I'm just brainstorming sure. here. I don't, you know, well, typically that sticker shock of one hundred fifty thousand dollars for a dump truck is. In my, in my little mind is crazy. <laughs> well, I, I took that. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just the price of stuff. I mean, it is. You know? It is. But but I mean, for a used one, we were looking at eighty something right. thousand. So yeah. it didn't make sense for yeah. that either. No. So, yeah. I mean, if we could, even if you could pile, in you know, a more frequent spots with sand, you know, while you're sealing, I mean, it makes the end up look a lot more attractive than. than Buy another, you know, buy another dump truck, I guess, in my mind. Yeah. Yeah, as, as far as using an end up on C, I, I've got I mean, I don't know. I'll, yeah. 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 I'll ask I, around. It might not work. Because we're down on Emerson Road right now. And I know some of them crowds of the rooms are scary. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, would, I would not do that at all. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah. I'll do it as a I see. I've seen them, you know, I've seen them on the state roads using them to dump uh -huh. on most of the state are pretty flat. They're pretty flat, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just an idea. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Get some more prices and check the full yeah. three of us, probably. Yeah. Um, that one, uh, How's the dog doing slow? Uh, we, we got everything knocked down. Oh, did we, you? Before we started seeing it. Yeah, I'm sure we we had when I say gone round to the last trip. Yeah, um, the way that we got everything out there and we went to see them and then see them so soon. Do you make more passing on the motors or not? 
for winter or not? Oh, yeah, we'll make yeah. that pass and we'll knock it back. Yeah. We'll go back into the barns one more time. I mean, it didn't clean up real nicely like I told you. Get it knocked down. Yeah. I mean, I've had a lot of people say, you know, at least you can see something see coming yeah. to our yeah. lives. No, I think it looks good. And it's especially just, as much as it you can tell, this year. You know, you can tell where you were early, you know, mm -hmm. and you let grow back. It finally slid down a little bit. Yeah. 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 But, it, but it, it, at least we got, they, they were blowing big ones in marijuana tall on the track. All the track. Yeah. yeah. And that's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot, better. a lot of stuff in there. But no, we got them all knocked down once, so we'll get them started back here probably next week. So. Yeah. There's some, I'm, I knew we'd have some issues, I mean. Well, Marlon and Bernie were trying to take the one down right there on the dead end road to my mom's house to get the combine in there yesterday. And they could, the bolts were around, they couldn't get it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they didn't take the header off, did they? No, they didn't take their <laughs> header off. They were trying to go over to, from my place to well, the Dove place there over the northwest. And, I think they got in there somehow. But, uh, well, most of them were sent back. You know, we tried to send them back, so they weren't an issue. I but that, 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 well, there's trees on the I just, there's trees on the south side, which made that the intersection just, needs opened up right now. I mean, yeah, it does. Those evergreens need to be taken out. Yes, they did. They need to be that done well, for city, 15 years. The city would, would put a stop sign up there. Yeah, because, you can't hardly see it until you're there. Well, yeah, and it's set so far back, and like I told them, it's not. Is that a city deal or a county deal? No, that, the city did that. No, oh, I know that, but I mean that road, those um, trees. City. It's a city land. It's a city so property. I would say the city put the sign there, so. Okay. But that, that's the whole issue there. Because those trees, they should never have been put there. No. They're dead. Yeah. I had a problem with it. I told them when they put it up, it was silly. Yeah. I said, you don't set something like that. Well, we had, we had the chief look at it. I said, well, that may be, but I said, the chief doesn't. <laughs> well, that blesses it. I said, that, that means that. I said, if I was going to have somebody look at something for traffic, I would have an engineer. Yeah. I know what the engineer would say. Yeah. Well, first of all, they're either going to tell you Those to stop, stop to the north-south traffic or stop that traffic. Yeah. But you don't you don't stop stop the northbound traffic and stop the westbound traffic. That's just a different intersection. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You set stop signs opposite. Not, yeah. Not. Well, that's what you had out west west of your place. Yeah. I mean, right there by Turner's. For a long time, that was screwed. And yeah. I finally looked at that one day. I drove through it for years. I didn't think nothing about it. Yeah. I finally got to that one down. This is stupid. Well, I always figured when I was on Highway 50, the stop sign was on the dirt road. It, pro it, it probably was, and it was probably over there on the south, you know, on, yeah, on the other on side. the west side. Yeah. And well, it was for years, but then when you know when everything changed, I looked at it he says, because we had a stop sign here and we had a stop sign here, but there was nothing to control traffic. Because there wasn't one, you know, going west and whatever. Right. There was nothing to control traffic going, you know, somebody turning and yeah. smacking somebody. So that's why the stop signs went up there. Yeah. Didn't make some people happy. But well, that's the way it does. Yeah. Nobody likes change, but. Mm -hmm. They still don't. I mean, 
people still decide that they don't like us all the time. Once in a while, they'll take issue with it. My wife, <laughs> even runs that stuff at Santa Fe Franks, my wife. Yeah, that's the one we're talking about. Uh -huh. That would eliminate the problem that the trees, they take the trees out. Yeah, it would help. It would certainly help. That'd be World War I mean, I, well, yeah, they're in the right away, so. I'm not going to say anything. I'll hear and do that. I'm not going to say anything, but it just, uh, yeah, it's, they're in the right away. It's just stupid that he won't take them on and clean that place up a little bit. Yeah, I just avoid that. I mean, some those guys can't. I mean, they gotta, yeah, we can. That's they, 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 they got to use it. It's in the city. I mean, they ought to say something to them. I'm sure they don't want to. Oh, I think they had a time when they put that, the stop sign on there because they had to cut some of the trees out to get the stop sign hidden back there in the trees. Oh, the one on the south side. Yeah, because it's on the pole. Yeah. Where was the city electricity out at yesterday? We didn't have any electricity for about an hour. Oh, really? I think it was just me and Frank. Maybe. Well, I heard Chad Ward had something on Facebook about it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all that went into my generator. <laughs> <laughs> went to that shop, and all my doors were open, and that wind was blowing through there, and I couldn't shut the door. doors. <laughs> Jeff was supposed to come out, but Jeff didn't. The problem must not have been out in the country, because Jeff, I never saw Jeff come out now before the power came back on. And stuff. Mm -hmm. Put some wires together. I could see any problem. Boy, it's more of that. Jeez. Bit more wind this year. Than we've ever had. No lot. Uh, what what is it? What do you call that weed? Brown that it's coming from somewhere anyway. The, the fence around the sewer ponds. You couldn't even see the fence. It was covered with rain yeah. yesterday. Oh uh, no. I don't know what it does. It come off the top of the grass? grass? Yeah. No crabgrass. No, it's, it's a, a grass. Uh, uh, it's like a miniature. It's a lovely thing. Yeah. yeah. It comes off the top of uh, Bermuda, doesn't it? No. It's not Bermuda. No, it's a, uh, My mom's house is covered with it, and the city fence was so covered yesterday, I mean, you couldn't see the fence, and the mill thought that the fence was going to go over. Uh, I said, oh, the wind will switch to the north and blow back up to my house tomorrow. Yeah, it's probably doing to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said, he, he was, he said, how can I get those off? And I said, I wouldn't worry about it. The wind will blow up. Yeah. So we'll blow back up. Yeah, that's what I'm I was wondering why. <laughs>